Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekano, has claimed that his group has many enemies. Namdekano, the Biafra political activist, during his routine broadcast last Sunday, lambasted some Nigerian newspapers. He lambasted Vanguard, The Punch, The Nation, and The Sun newspapers, accusing them of trying to paint his activities in a bad light. Do you have any idea or an idea of how many enemies we are confronting every blessed day? Namdekano asked rhetorically, do you know that the pay vanguard, nation, newspaper, punch, and son? Are you aware that they gave them very huge amount of money in December 2020 to attack us and to attack the Eastern Security Network? Go to Google now and type Namdekano on your Google search. All the news about me is about this group said no to the Eastern Security Network. Repatriate Namdekano. All bad news. They paid Google as well. They give money to Vanguard and to Punch and all these idiots, they write their junks. Then they go to Google and ask them to boost it. Meanwhile, Namdekano did not specify or specifically mention the people he claimed paid these Nigerian newspapers. Speaking further, in his last online broadcast, Namdekano stated that the enormity of the Biafran task is enormous. The 53-year-old insisted he will remain resolute and unswervering in his demands for a Biafran nation. Now they cannot bemoan the fact that he is facing enemies within and enemies without. While dealing with, dealing with the enemies outside, he still has to or he still have to deal with the enemies that are within the organization. Nambikano Fora said that he would not give up and there is no amount of pressure and that there is no amount of hate. There is no amount of slander or lies that would make him give up the agitation for Biafra, even as he encouraged people and urged them to be resolute as Biafra will soon be realized. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Given the situation and circumstances that we are today, and with all that is happening across the world, do you agree that Namdekano is much hated, and that these media houses, as it were, are being paid or were paid to slander Namdekano as he has claimed? If at all there were people who paid the newspaper to slander Nandekano and Google as well, what could be the rationale behind it and who are those who are paying these people? Well, it remains to be seen. However, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular issue. 
We all know that Nambikano has been, you know, uh, at loggerheads with the government of Nigeria. With the desire of so many government uh, security agencies to arrest Nambikano or repatriate him and bring him back to the country to face trials. But however, Enamdekano is resolute in his pursuit of the Biafran agitation, saying that he is not going to give up and there is no amount of pressure and no amount of hatred, no amount of slander would pressure him or would make him to give up. This is not the first time activists are facing what Enamdekano is facing. Nelson Mandela of the great South Africa, we all know to a very large extent, probably faced worse or similar to what Nambekano is facing. Also, he faced massive challenges. He was imprisoned for years. Those who know the story can tell. So, as it is and as it were, Namdekano is also facing his own uh, challenges, as it were. But the question that we have to ask is that, will Namdekano triumph just like uh, Nelson Mandela did triumph? It remains to be seen. Be that as it were, guys. Do you think that Namdekano deserved the treatment he's getting from the government? A lot of people have called him several names. While some are of the opinion that he is only uh, a propagandist and that uh, he is only defrauding people in the name of uh, Biafra, some are saying that he is even uh, making money from the organization because the organization is registered as an organization. Well, however, it remains to be seen if these claims are true or not. But Nambekano has said that he is resolute in his pursuit of realizing the Biafra dream. The question now is, with all that is going on under this present government, would Nambekano be able to achieve it? Well, it remains to be seen. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story. Who will rescue Nambekano? from the hands of the Nigerian government, as it were. How will he eventually uh, be let off the hook? It remains to be seen. How soon will Biafra be achieved? It remains to be seen. Who are those that are sponsoring the hate against Namdekano? It remains to be seen. Well, it's what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.